Turning to other stories now, more and more Koreans are adopting pet dogs. In tune with this trend, the government plans to strengthen related regulations to ensure safe and healthy living environment for both the canines, the owners, as well as the neighbors. Kim Jae outlines what to expect. Issues related to animals like dog bites are a growing social issue, so the South Korean government is toughening its regulations on safety. The Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs announced on Tuesday a comprehensive animal welfare plan for 2020 to 2024. The ministry says the new plan provides a concrete roadmap for the next five years to achieve a mature society in which people and animals can coexist. The government plans to restrict imports of certain dog breeds commonly thought of as aggressive, such as Tosa, the American Pit Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the Rottweiler, and related mixed breeds. Also starting next year, owners of these types of dogs will be required to buy insurance. The government is also reviewing ways to require owners to get permission to raise these dogs in apartments and to restrict the length of dog's leash to two meters. These new policies also focus on improving animal welfare and living conditions. The government plans to discuss with related institutions the inclusion of animal protection and welfare education in elementary, middle and high schools. The plan also includes tougher regulations on animal views. Starting next year, any mistreatment leading to the death of an animal will result in a jail term of up to three years or a fine of up to around 26,000 U.S. dollars. The current penalty is two years behind bars or a fine of $17,000, and that goes for all types of animal abuse, whether the animal dies or not. Kim Jae-hee, Arirang News.